انٹرپٹ کیوں اس وقت اسحاق ڈار کی طرف چلیں گے نائب وزیر آزم اسحاق ڈار اسی ایس سی او کے حوالے سے خطاب کر رہے ہیں ٹوئنٹی تھرڈ میٹنگ آف دی ایس سی او کاؤنسل آف ہیڈز آف گورنمنٹ وچ اینڈڈ ود دی اڈاپشن آف اے نمبر آف امپورٹنٹ ڈسیزنس اینڈ ڈاکومنٹس دیٹ ول گائڈ دی فیوچر ڈائریکشن آف دی آرگنائزیشن ان ریلیونٹ فیلڈس together with his excellency mr zhang ming the secretary general of the sco i am here to share with you the highlights of the important sco meeting of today ladies and gentlemen let me start by saying saying that it was a great honor for pakistan to organize the 23rd meeting of the council of the heads of government of sco member states in islamabad we are very pleased to host the honorable leaders from the brotherly countries of sco and have made our best efforts to make their stay in pakistan as com comfortable and productive as we could we hope that they will take with them good memories of their stay in pakistan we are also grateful for their very constructive engagement and positive contributions during this meeting ladies and gentlemen during the past one year of pakistan presidency we made every effort not only to work on the priority areas identified by pakistan which include enhancing regional connectivity environmental protection poverty alleviation and youth empowerment etc but also collaborated actively with all member states to adopt all forward looking proposals for the sustainable development of the region as a result i'm happy to share that several new areas of cooperation have been approved by the relevant forums of sco which inter alia include a concept on creation of sco economic preferences base b concept on co cooperation among the trade promotion organizations c framework for cooperation in the development of creative economy and d program of new economic dialogue of the sco ladies and gentlemen the outcomes of today's meetings are grounded in a year long hard work by the relevant experts mechanisms as well as continuous support by the sco secretariat indeed this year long process reemphasizes the commitment by all sco member states to uphold the values of the shanghai spirit it was in this same spirit that prime minister shahwaz sharif in his statement today reiterated pakistan's clear commitment to the goals and principles of sco charter highlighting the effectiveness and utility of sco mechanisms in the face of unprecedented regional and global challenges prime minister sharif he also stressed that sco was ideally placed to serve as a vital platform for fostering cooperation to ensure sustainable development peace and prosperity in the region incidentally the copies of prime minister shahwaz sharif uh, speech and statement are available uh, for any media friend who would like to take it ladies and gentlemen the joint communique of the council of heads of government signed just now by the leaders of the sco member states is a comprehensive document covering a wide area of cooperation in the fields of economy trade industry investment technology development transport and connectivity climate change public health culture poverty alleviation women and youth empowerment etc through this joint communique the sco leaders have affirmed their resolve to further strengthen their cooperation in these spheres to build a peaceful safe prosperous and environmentally friendly 
planet Earth. The community also stresses the importance of improving the global economic governance system and establishing a multilateral trading system that is open, transparent, fair, inclusive, and non-discriminatory, promoting the growth of a global economy for a shared and equitable future. The SCO leaders also expressed concern on the escalation of various challenges resulting in, dis in diminishing investment flows, disruption of supply chains, and generating uncertainties in global financial markets through adoption of unlawful, restrictive, and protectionist measures to international trade. Sharing the collective desire of international community to strengthen interconnectedness, SCO leaders welcomed the initiatives of the SCO countries in the creation of effective transport corridors and development of ports and logistics centers. Ladies and gentlemen, also recalling the SCO decision on financial support mechanism for project activities, the communique instructed the authorized departments of member states to intensify efforts on the establishment of the SCO Development Bank, SCO Development Fund, and the SCO Investment Fund. Amongst the decisions taken by the Council today, the budget of SCO for 2025 and the human resource allocation at the two permanent bodies, i.e. SCO Secretariat and SCO Regional Anti-Terrorism Structure were also approved. But more importantly, ladies and gentlemen, the outcome of today's meeting is not only the joint communique or the host of other documents adopted, but the, the, but the renewed resolve of the SCO leadership that by working together with the spirit of mutual respect and cooperation, we can overcome the challenges and, and can create hope for a better and a sustainable future to be equally shared by all. Let me also share with pleasure that today's meeting was conducted in the traditional atmosphere of the Shanghai Cooper Cooperation Organization, which is characterized by goodwill and understanding, cooperation and collabor collaboration, mutual respect, and mutual benefit. With the successful conclusion of this meeting, Pakistan has ably discharged its, its responsibilities as the chair of the CHH, CHG for the period 23-24 and has passed on the baton of responsibility to the Russian Federation. While congratulating Russian Prime Minister Mishustin on assuming the chair of the Council of, Council of uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, uh, Council of uh, go Government, Heads of Government, I would like to assure the incoming president, which is uh, the Russian Prime Minister, of the full assurance of Pakistan's continued constructive engagement and full support to their presidency. To conclude, I must say that cooperation in the interconnected region of SCO is a natural phenomenon which will lead to the further strengthening of friendship and good neighborly relations among SCO countries. I thank you all.